Welcome back to another YouTube video. You might be wondering, why am I in the same spot that I was before? So you might remember this spot previously from about a couple months ago. Um, they tore all this down, so no more donuts, or this might be the last bit of car reviews from this place. What are we here for today? Well, this is more of a install video, but I kind of want to show off all the features about my new radio. But first, you got to know what the OEM 2012 to 2013 14 Mustang radio looks like. So I brought one for comparison. This is what it looks like. It replaces all of it. There's a train out in the distance. Sorry about that. So this is what it looks like. This isn't included. That was just for me to be able to put my phone up there like that. Um, but I'm going to kind of give my honest opinion about the Dynavan Pro. I don't even know if it's a Pro, it's Plus, who knows. So as you can see, this is the Dynavan um, D7, D8 Pro. Get that out of there. I want to make it look good for the camera. So this is what it looks like right here. And this is what the old one looks like, your original so we're gonna put that right there and we're gonna get on with the review. So my audio is gonna disconnect so it's gonna be a lot worse from here on out because my phone automatically connects, which that's good, it has Bluetooth. So that's what we want, right? So when you go to start up your car, your phone's automatically gonna to connect to the Dynavan um, Apple CarPlay. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you all that. But as soon as you turn your car on or Put your key in the ignition um it's going to automatically start trying to connect to apple carplay um so there it is it connects pretty fast and this is apple carplay this is i mean apple carplay is apple carplay these are all the buttons that it changes obviously you'll see more about this in the youtube video this is just like an overview of it um so that's the direct comparison to that right there but what i wanted to say about this is here's apple carplay um this is just apple carplay i mean it's it's quite responsive apple carplay is always going to be a little bit laggy in cars for some reason that that's what i've noticed but you have ah uh, shit if you download apps that are available with carplay they'll just show up here like skype um you can't download YouTube, but you can download Skype, which is kind of weird. Um, but yeah, it'll it'll show you where you're at and all that. There's my secret recording location. Um, this probably won't get a whole lot of views, so I'm not really nervous about that. I don't have any people trying to get me. I hope not. But we're going to go ahead and go to the menu and show you the Dynavan menu. So this is... What it's called, it's called Z-Link, and Z-Link allows you to get the Apple CarPlay to be able to use it. So, in fact, that's your Apple CarPlay. You got your sound, you got all of your equalizers and stuff like that. It goes all the way up to 20K. It took me quite a while to um, get everything going with that. You have everything here. So, that's just that. That's all of your audio settings. You have your navigation. This is for if you have an Android. This is your navigation right here. This is your phone. That's your media. Pretty simple things. And then you have your, uh, not Apple Play Store, sorry. You have your Google Play Store. You have your files, which down here, you can put a micro SD card in and load whatever you want. Hell, you can even plug up a PS3 or 2 in the back because they have AV imports. One thing that I will tell y'all. Um, which I was gonna like I actually couldn't wait to mention this is Install your Sirius XM. Uh, I made that mistake and now I can't control my volume through here I can't none of this works anymore, and I don't feel like re popping this back up and doing that so For your sake install the Sirius XM But I will show you guys how to get to YouTube because I when I was looking it up That was pretty hard and nobody really explains how to do that apps these are apps this is dynaway vlc which is where you can view movies from navigation 
uh, your Dynavin logger and your control logs, I'm assuming. And then there's YouTube. So YouTube is already pre-installed on here, which is kind of cheeky in my opinion. Go to settings, go to personal hotspot, turn it off, turn it on. And then you're going to go over here, then you're going to go to Wi-Fi. You're going to turn that on and it's going to disconnect you from Apple CarPlay. And your phone should pop up somewhere in here in a second. Yeah. So, there we go. So after you do that, you go to apps, then you go to YouTube. That's me right there. So, I'm going to go to my YouTube channel. Which it will save every time. You don't have to redo this every time. It just takes a second to load. Which, give or take, you're running this off of... Literally, this is literally a radio playing YouTube. Just for funsies, let's click on my rebirth map. How's the person looking? I just want to show y'all that this actually works. Like this, like, like this is it. Oh, dude, what can I say? I'm goaded at the game. Click right here and I'll probably be killing somebody too. What did I say? We're gonna go back to the menu. That's just showing that it works and that it actually plays in like 1080p. So we're going to be installing this today, the Dynavin 8 Plus. This isn't a plus, but um, yeah, actually let's see. The Dynavin 8 Plus. So for the first thing that you have to do is always disconnect your battery. Because you don't want to get shocked while you're doing that. Usually, you know, I like to keep it a little, uh, a little ballsy and only disconnect one side of my um, car battery, but we're disconnecting all of them today. So, we got the battery disconnected. Um, side note, when we were exploring our abandoned building, I didn't know that I was doing this half the time towards the camera. So I was like, what's over there? I did not realize that. But we got the battery disconnected. Let's remove the interior. So you're gonna need two tools. These are just, um, I don't even really know what these are called. I know they pry your interior pieces out. But um, pro tip when you're going to do this and you have uh, Mustang that has, um, what are those things called, the button control seats instead of just regularly picking up down here and moving your seat, uh, lock it in at the place that you want it to be it in. Um, I'm not reconnecting my battery, just move my car seat back, but let's get started. So you're going to want to kind of do this a little bit right here, then pull up. And that's as far as I know what to do, honestly. I think you need to... Yeah, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> That's dirty. Alright, so we should have two connectors right here. I have a sunflower seed down here. Where that one goes. This one's gonna be a pain in my butt. Okay, so now that we got these out of the way, this should just come on up. So my car's in park, that might be an issue. So when you go to take this out, this is an automatic Mustang. I know. And so when you're taking this off, what you want to do is it's gonna be pretty hard, obviously, if your car's in park. So this obviously is gonna be where it's supposed to belong. So you're gonna kinda of have to tilt it this way and then kinda of just go like that. They said something like you should just be able to pry that off. Oh, luckily I have this. <laughs> Alright, so that's the radio. So now that we got our radio loose, um, this starts getting into the area of I don't know what I'm doing. Um, 
I can take apart my car pretty easily, but when it comes to putting it back together, I'm pretty clueless. But we got our radio out, now we just need to disconnect everything. Uh, simple enough. So we can just kind of just throw. <laughs> so this is your OEM um, Mustang radio. Next one. All right, let's go set this down. So there are. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight bolts, and that is holding on your head unit, and that is, if that's the right word, so your head unit, this thing right here, and then your DVD player. So we're gonna take those out really quick. It's pretty simple. So now that we have this, all the bolts undone to this, all the bolts undone to that, we just need to get them out. I'm, I don't even know if that's connected. It is. Alright, what is this? This is the fun part. That part's out. I'm gonna put this up. And remember to save the clips from your radio. Your OEM radio. Because you're gonna need it. Alright, so now that we have our radio disconnected, I think there's about five plugs on there that you need to disconnect. There's only one for the digital display. So after we got this, after we got this disconnected, um, fun fact, there's actually a Luke Comb CD in here that I will never be able to get out now. You can keep that safe. So we got this out. Um, if anybody wants this, let me know. My hands are bleeding already. So that's what it looks like on the inside. And now, this is the part where I really don't know what I'm doing. Um, so, yeah, it's time to watch an install video and then act like I know what I'm doing for the camera. That's the head unit. And so you have your head unit right here. And then, nice buttons. And then you have your wiring harness your radio. I don't even know if it's really called a wiring harness, whatever. But this is what it comes with. Ta-da! A box full of headache. So apparently we have to take off the glove box to access your sync module. Uh, so I've never taken apart my glove box. Usually they just slip right off, but now I'm looking at it and looking like this part has to come off so there's one two three there's about four bolts right here so we're gonna get this going and my back hurts so my headlamp is dying right now so we might need to take a little break uh, this might not be the ideal oh my gosh it's like 27 hours out here I could never that fall down my fucking seat no I can never be a mechanic getting down to the last bolt right now I'm pretty sure that this disconnects the glove box I'm not a thousand percent sure Disconnects. Help. <laughs> I'm so claustrophobic right now, I'm scared. Okay. So you're in my glove box right now. Disconnect this right here. So I'm gonna do that. I can't do that with just one hand right now. Maybe I can actually. Anyways, you're gonna have to connect this piece to 
the sink adapter or whatever they gave you in the box. And I'm gonna do that right now and get out of here. <sighs> That's what everything looks like. Um, those are just the basic connectors that came with um, the Dynavin kit. Um, but here's the head unit and we're about to see if we can't just go ahead and connect everything. So we do have the Dynavin head unit in. Everything works and it's really just step by step. Like, I promise if I can figure it out, anybody can figure it out. It's pretty easy, it's basically plug and play and it's kind of hard. I'm not gonna say hard to mess up because this, you know, this is just going in right now. But it's not, it wasn't too bad to get in. Uh, I'm pretty sure the hardest part is gonna be getting this thing back in. But um, everything works fine. After we get it installed, uh, we're going to do a little sound test. And yeah, that's basically it. Then we'll probably wrap up the video. Uh, and if you have any questions, just ask a comment down below and I'll be able to help with So real quick, when you're going with the install, make sure you grab your other clips. These right here off of your original um, radio. So now we're going to plug it back in. This is making me nervous. So you basically want to tuck these cords and just throw them back there. That shit look nice, don't it? So basically, y'all just watched me put in this entire um, radio by myself. Um, my boyfriend really acted like he did it, but behind the scenes, we always cut the clips, and I put the entire thing in by myself. Um, uh -huh. You can always contact me, and I'm willing to put in any system as long as you pay for travel. Um, he's acting like he's doing something in the background right now, but know that it's really going to be me. He's honestly just swinging it around oh. he's not doing anything he's screaming he's acting like he's oh doing something see it's all jokes but yeah so basically i installed this entire what's this video called i don't know what is it dear max no he's not even screwing anything on down there he's really just <laughs> he's just making noises <laughs> if you can see the glove box is already attached he's just acting like he's doing something <laughs> I'm trying to zoom in on your vein, on your forehead. There you go. I need chocolate. Have you ever heard of the... The what? This actually makes my back not straight as well. I'm gonna fucking regret this tomorrow. I feel like I'm 80 years old. Better mechanic. I'm only 22 years old. I have about 80 years of mechanical experience. Now crawl out. Help. Aww. It's a 182 pound point eight ounce baby. Let me tell y'all a spooky story. I tend to over concumber myself when I see all these wires and fancy, um, is overcumber a word? Overcumbered, yeah. Mm. I, I know that that's the word because in he's Skyrim, like, once you carry too many items, it says it in the top left. He's corner. like, look it up in the, the store. This install wasn't that hard, and usually I'm pretty terrified when it comes to installing things by myself, but uh. Oh! This was, I'm not gonna say easier than changing your oil, but uh, this is probably about on the hardness scale from what I've done, probably like a 5 out of 10, just because of all the shit you have to do. Um, but anyways, we got it done. I'm ready to watch a YouTube on it. We're about to see if we can do that. I'm gonna put all this stuff up first. Changing a headlight was a lot harder. He had it smoking. We don't talk about it. <laughs>